In this module, we will talk about cytogenetic disorders involving sex chromosomes. First of all, let me define a few things. Numerical aberrations of sex chromosomes are relatively better tolerated than those caused by autosomes. For example, we, the normal number of chromosomes is 46X or 46XY or 46XX. So even people with 46 and 3X chromosomes and a Y chromosome, they are viable. This would not happen if we had two extra autosomes, any of the two extra autosomes. People with extra Y chromosome are phenotypically normal. One X chromosome is active in females and the other X chromosome is condensed and is made inactive and generally this is also a test for determining the sex of a person with ambiguous genitalia. It's called the bar body test. So cells from the buccal cavity are taken, they're put in on a slide and stained for the chromosomes. Here you can see on the slide, I will point that out too. You can see this sharp black spot. This is basically a condensed X chromosome. In normal cells of these people which have extra X chromosome, one X chromosome is super condensed. Even females, normal females have one X chromosome inactivated forming a bar body. So if someone has an extra X chromosome, more than one X chromosome, it will also be condensed and turned into a bar body. We'll look at an example of that in just a minute. So let's talk about that. Kleinfelter syndrome, the karyotype of these patients is 46XXY. It could also be 48XXXY. As the number of X chromosome increases, so does the severity of disease or mental retardation. Although the one, one of their X chromosomes is normal, the other extra X chromosomes are always converted into bar bodies. They are condensed. But although they are condensed, they are not completely inactive. Extra chromosome in people with Kleinfelter syndrome can be maternal or paternal. Advanced maternal age A or radiation can also cause this disorder. On the screen, you can see the schematics of two people, one normal having normal X, Y, the other with an extra X chromosome. You will notice that these, the, the person with Kleinfelter syndrome has longer limbs and longer stature and taller stature. X chromosome and Y chromosomes, they also have genes responsible for vertical growth. So as the number of extra X chromosomes increases, so does the height. Other features, microorganism, hypogonadism, meaning the gonads are smaller and non-functional. Longer legs, gynecomastia means female-like breasts, although they are males. They are infertile, that means they cannot reproduce, they cannot make, if the gonads are not functional, they will not be able to make sperms. Maybe mildly retarded, these people also have reduced facial and pubic hair. So these are some of the features of people who have an extra, like male people who have an extra X chromosome. I know, uh, I have a photograph of cat on the screen. I just want to mention that in cats, the coat color, the color of their fur is dictated by the X chromosome. So, female cats have two X chromosomes. So, one chromosome can have, for example, black color coding for black fur. The other can be coding for the red fur or some other color. White fur is because there is no color being expressed there. So, multicolored cats, cats with more than one color, other than white, these cats are always females. If you come across a female cat who has more than one color, who has brown, black, or, or some other color, and is a male, that cat will also most likely have the Kleinfelter syndrome. Now, I would like to move on to another cytogenetic disorder. In Kleinfelter, we saw an extra X chromosome present. There's another syndrome called the Turner syndrome in which females have only one X chromosome. So these people are female because we need all people inherently are female unless the Y chromosome is present. We start out our lives as females, but once the Y chromosome 
express starts expressing genes on it that is where the masculine identity will start in turner syndrome since we have only one x chromosome these people are females because they don't have a y chromosome they only have one x chromosome in order to be male you need at least one y chromosome or the genes which are present on the y chromosome turner syndrome can be caused by several reasons one of which is monosomy x of course that there's only one x chromosome the which is 57% of these patients have that condition that they have only one x chromosome rest may have iso x i have already mentioned what isochromosomes are in which both arms of the x chromosome are same isochromosome x some of the features also i would like to point out that some of these patients can also be mosaic some of them may have normal number of x chromosomes others may have one x chromosome features short stature as i mentioned that genes for vertical growth are present on x chromosome or the y chromosome lymphedema meaning swelling of uh, hands and feet broad chested reproductive sterility these people with turner syndrome cannot reproduce and obesity i'll show you a photograph of a person with turner syndrome uh, but before that i would like to mention uh, that we are missing one feature important feature that is webbing of the neck here let's look at the the photographs you can see the top photograph you see the webbing of the neck uh, that's a typical feature of uh, people with turner syndrome uh, the lower two photographs show lymphedema meaning swelling of hands and feet so this concludes our discussion of genetics and clinical genetics we will now talk about how dna replicates we have talked about how dna is distributed between cells next we are going to see how dna the process molecular level at molecular level we are going to see how dna is replicated